uh, tips and tricks how to approach um, CTOs in the ELA cartridge. First of all, CTO vocation and extent determines the approach and uh, vascular exercise. Vascular exercise is extremely important. And if you have um, uh, occlusions that are uh, osteo occlusions, like you saw uh, on this uh, case that was just uh, presented, then you need a bilateral femoral axis and a brachial axis or radial axis these days. You, you have this uh, long sheath from uh, Teruma 6 fringe that you can use radially. However, if you want to work from the, uh, uh, from the arm axis, uh, probably it will be better if you choose a seven fringe sheet and go brachially. In case if you need a uh, covered stance, then you could actually fit it in. So if um, uh, the uh, lesion location is in external iliacs, then again, you can use either brachial or radial axis. And if it fails, then you consider um, going to a proximal uh, ipsilateral uh, SFA or pro uh, get a profunda axis. Uh, for the contralateral external iliac um, lesion, you, you get, of course, a contralateral axis. Uh, and uh, for a very long lesion that uh, involves um, uh, proximal iliac and external iliac, then you can either go brachial or try to cross it from the contralateral axis as well. So, um, tips and tricks, uh, very important thing, as I already mentioned, is the pro proper size of the sheath. Um, my usually sheath to go is a seventh fringe. Um, and um, uh, use a catheter support uh, catheter. It's either could be Jatkins. I usually use a vertebral uh, five fringe, uh, 125 centimeter catheter that uh, helps you to cross the lesions. Uh, wires, um, if this is an uh, old CTO, uh, hydrophobic, uh, hydrophobic wires with a heavy tip load uh, probably uh, are better. You can uh, try to use a start of 30 gram. Or if you think that uh, the CTO is not too old, not super calcified, you can try hydrophilic wires like VAT control or command uh, as uh, you just saw. It, it does work pretty well. A uh, very important thing is do not oversedate the patient. Uh, pain during uh, bone angioplasty is a warning sign that the vessel uh, is about uh, to rupture, and that's the last thing you, that you want. That's why I uh, specifically ask Andreas whether, Andre whether uh, he uh, gave any sedation to the patient. The answer was no. It's, it's, uh, it works in Germany and in the in, in, in US, especially in New York. Patient wouldn't walk even into the room without sedation. So. <laughs> Um, so uh, have cover stands immediately available. Uh, if perf perforation occurs, you must uh, act very quickly. So don't even start the case if you don't have cover stand in the rooms. The last thing you want to have perforation on your hands and then ask the nurse to look for it and they leave the room and never come back. So, so the, uh, this is the first case, a 59-year-old uh, male, um, smoker for more than 30 years. Uh, with progressively worsening right oral extremity claudication with the ABI of 0 0.57. Uh, he had a kind of interesting story. He had some angiogram done in New Jersey in one of the hospitals and uh, came to one of my colleagues' office saying that uh, he had only diagnostic angiogram and they told him to come in a month, which sounded like weird, and he had to fly to Poland. He used, uh, happened to be a uh, uh, referring uh, cardiologist uh, secretary's ankles and she wanted this to be done ASAP. This is usually a bad kind of scenario. You already know something is wrong. If in the other hospital, uh, you know, things were not done right away, that means it's a warning sign. So the next thing you know, you find this patient on your schedule and you go, okay, let's see what we see. So um, this is the angiogram. You can see that you already uh, um, see on that picture here that um, external iliac is occluded on the right side, um, and um, well, that's okay. So what we did, uh, we got actually work from the contralateral approach. We got the wire into the um, internal iliac on that side that advanced the sheath, crossed with the uh, uh, astato wire, 30 gram tip. Then uh, usual story, balloon, uh, and then stand. But then look uh, what happens here. He also has a very long uh, SFA CTO on, uh, on the same side. So which was a little bit tricky to find uh, the takeoff of the SFA. It took uh, several different angles to locate it. Then we crossed it. 
and then usual bone angioplasty. And uh, standing with a good result, he left to his uh, home country, Poland, being very happy. So uh, another case, it's a 62-year-old guy, uh, status post um, bypass surgery, uh, coronary bypass surgery, uh, with left leg uh, wrist pain and non-healing uh, left foot ulcer. You see some hardware in his spine. It, it always affects uh, you know, your uh, ability to like have a clear idea of what's going on with one picture. You have to take multiple angle, angles um, and views in order to see what exactly is happening in the iliac arteries. But here you can clearly see that there's a total occlusion of the uh, left uh, iliac artery, and that particular angle is very steep. You know, by putting wires here, it's gonna start sliding down. This is what uh, was happening. So we decided to uh, stick his uh, 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 profunda using a microcatheter, uh, which was 018, because we couldn't uh, put anything into common femoral, just not, not, not enough room to uh, position your uh, sheath. So, and then we crossed uh, with the support of uh, O1A8 uh, catheter, we used V18 control wire, which got us through, uh, and you see this wire being advanced and then loop formed and just pushed the loop forward. And uh, we crossed it eventually, uh, stented it and ballooned it um, with, with a pretty good result. All right, thank you.